In today's video, we'll cover an IP66 rated USB NVMe SSD enclosure from QuizLab. If you're like me and you carry a USB drive with you and you're concerned about water or dust ruining your device and your data, then stick around for the rest of this video. And if you haven't already done so, please don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification so you'll be notified when there's new releases of videos. And of course, if you find this video useful, please give it a like as it helps promote the channel. Full disclosure is that QuizLab did send me this product to review, but they haven't paid me for this review, nor have they influenced it in any way. As with all my videos, the opinions and the test results are my own, and they'll see this video for the first time as you're seeing it. I've done several USB NVMe enclosure reviews on my channel, and for the most part, the performance of these devices is pretty consistent, and they all perform pretty well. What's not the same or consistent, however, is the physical construction, with many of these devices being fragile, and none that I tested IP66 rated for water and dust resistant, which is really what drew me to test this product. Before we get into any kind of testing, let's take a look and see what's in the box. You get the drive itself and a bag containing a Torx driver, extra screws for the cover, and an extra screw to hold down the SSD. When you first look at the drive itself, you might think this is a standard carrying strap, but as it turns out, this is actually the USB cable, which is inserted into a rubber plug to help keep water from that as well. Pretty clever. Let's go ahead and pull the cover off, mount the drive so we can get started testing this thing. Once you pull off the cover, you realize that the orange rubber section is not just an outside cover, but it's actually the drive body itself. It's pretty obvious from this construction that the device is really well built and really well designed. With the drive mounted, we're now ready to install the thermal pad, which I gotta say is the thickest thermal pad I've ever seen. With the thermal pad installed, we'll put the cover on and get, get it plugged in, make sure it works, run it through a quick test, and then we get to see if it lives up to the dust and water resistance claims. I went ahead and formatted the drive, so let's do a quick performance check. I won't have you sit through the entire test, but as you can see from the result, the performance is excellent. What's also interesting is that despite running this test a couple of times, the device didn't throttle from heat, nor did it, the outside case get hot at any time. Okay, now it's time to have a little fun. Let's get this thing wet and let's get it dusty and see if it holds up. There's an entire process in determining and verifying IP rating of a device. And since I'm not an official testing lab, I can't validate these particular claims meet every requirement of IP66. So I've kind of devised and come up with my own way that'll provide me with enough confidence to know that it would meet the requirements. To replicate the water nozzle testing that they use in water resistance testing, I'm using a standard hose and I'm going to saturate the device for about 10 minutes at different angles. Though the pressure and the nozzle size are not the official ones used in the actual certified test, I'm sure you agree that this device is seeing some serious water flow. Certainly far more than you're going to see under normal use, even in a heavy rainstorm. Let's fast forward to the end of the water test. I'm just going to wipe this thing off, plug it back in, and do a quick performance test to make sure that it still works and nothing's happened to the drive. As you can see, this thing still works like a champ, which for a device in this price range is pretty impressive. Now let's get into the dust test. This is a bit trickier to do, as I don't have a chamber that's needed to do this properly. So again, I've devised my own version of the test. And we'll use a bucket with some fine sand to replicate multi-directional exposure to sand and dust and basically shake this thing around in there. Now that I've tumbled this thing around about 10 times, and it should be nice and dusty, I'll spray off the dirt, let's plug this thing in and run it through another quick performance test. Again, looking to make sure it still works and no degradation at all. And as you can see from the testing, not much has changed. It still works perfectly, no issues. Just to be absolutely sure, despite the fact that we've already tested that it works, we'll just pull the cover off real quick and make sure that nothing's really snuck in there. Looking inside, I don't really see anything that got into the drive. As I periodically travel as well as carry an external USB SSD in my laptop case, I've damaged more than my share of electronics by spilling coffee, water, or soda on them. Even though the testing I did for this video was not official IP66 testing, 
This low-cost enclosure performed well beyond my expectations, and I'm really pleased with the overall construction of this device. I definitely will be carrying this on my next trip. This is a truly well-built device, and if you carry your data with you, or if you offload photos to an external drive when you're traveling or away from home, you should definitely consider getting something like this. I truly want to thank the team at Quiz Labs for sending me this device to test, and I'll leave links in the description below if you want to purchase one for yourself or find out more information. That's about it for today's video. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and thanks for watching. I'll see you on the next video.